you were I saw an Instagram post that you're gonna be having a piece coming out. Um, kind of the correlation between kung fu and DJing. So I'm kind of curious, you know, what what is what what gives you know laid back Luke that extra juice? Yeah, so I have a couple of things. I uh, I keep on saying this everywhere in interviews. I want a chain smokers, like just one. Just what a, do you mean? A chain smokers hit. Oh, like yeah. a global, worldwide, big, fat, juicy <laughs> chain smokers <laughs> hit. So like, someone needs to sign me to Sony, to Universal, or something. You know, let's make this happen. That's so. so wild to me, dude. You don't need any of that. Your catalog is so thorough. Yeah, no, it is. But it would be amazing to, to you know, have the four times the amount of followers I have now. Or, like, you know, even even chain smoking without actually smoking. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Why don't you do something with the chain smokers? I know, and, no, I, I, yeah, I know the guys really well, actually. Yeah. Um, and so when it comes to Kung Fu, so I do think like as a DJ, you have an expiry date, like, you know, surely there's, <laughs> there's not going to be DJs DJing over 60 years old, you know, and within Kung Fu, we have our grandmasters that are teaching and doing Kung Fu up until their nineties. So one of my big dreams is to start a chain of Kung Fu schools somewhere and, and, you know, go and do that more.